Hello and good afternoon. Welcome from Tees Valley Nature Partnership and Your Tees Catchment Partnership. This is the first of two urgent and important conferences where we explore together nature-based solutions to climate change. We've got a packed programme in store for you this afternoon of talks, interactive workshops and polls. What has become a feature of our conference programme, the Petra Kucha session, where we'll get some bite-sized insights from our friends and partners. And of course, some longer talks and presentations into what's going on in the Tees Valley regarding nature-based solutions to climate change from the public, private and third sectors. An important part of this afternoon is going to be the panel discussion. So we have a panel discussion where we have some experts, where you can actually field some questions. And well, hopefully this will start to generate a debate where we can really share the learning today and, and make sure that we are all thinking creatively and innovatively about nature-based solutions to climate change. Before we begin, I wanted to say a few words to get us started and set the tone for the day. Firstly, thank you to all our speakers today. I'm immensely proud of the partnership that we have developed over the years, and we are privileged to have so many committed and passionate experts who have been prepared to give up their time. And I really do mean that. I do appreciate it. You know, we're all busy, and I think it's just so good that we can share all the things that are happening, the great things that are happening in the Tees Valley. Secondly, it's a bit of a reminder about the need to work locally and globally. We're working with our key partners, Your Tees Catchment Partnership, and this symbiotic relationship is a recognition that we need to think outside of our boundaries. We're all part of a wider ecology, both human and non-human, and I hope that in practical and philosophical terms that this conference will re resonate with a wide number of people, thanks in part to the necessity to be online at the moment. And finally, our geography and common bond is a strength, and we hope to use these close relationships to innovate and find the path that we need to take with others to tackle the climate and ecological emergencies that we're facing. Through partnership working, we get the best ideas and innovation. Whilst we have urgent work to do to tackle COVID-19 and the economic recovery, we must promote the role of nature-based solutions as being an important part of the equitable green recovery that we need. I hope that through today's event, we will reveal that there is more to nature-based solutions than planting trees, although that's clearly part of it. The diversity of actions that we can take in partnership working with the natural environment and not working against it, working for the benefit of communities and everybody else is absolutely essential and central to the uh, what we're talking about today. A little factoid, a bit of fun before we begin. Um, we've done a carbon calculator on the conference. Had we had the conferences planned in a venue with catering, the catering, I do miss the catering, but anyway, we would have used eight tonnes of carbon Whereas the conference in this format means we'll only produce 0.014 tonnes instead. So I'll leave you with that thought. There have been some advantages for the environment and climate change for the crisis we're living through. Maybe some of the things we've learned through this will be things we will take forward. And I'm really pleased to say that we're all together today, however we've done it. And it's fantastic. So it's time to get this party started. I have great pleasure in introducing Craig Bennett, our keynote speaker for today. Craig started as Chief Executive of the Wildlife Trust in April 2020 with the ambition of putting a third of the UK's land and sea into nature recovery by 2030. Craig was previously CEO of Friends of the Earth, where he refocused the organisation on its unique role of empowering communities to take action and tackle the climate and ecological crisis. This resulted in a step change in the scale and impact of the movement with over 200 new Friends of the Earth community groups set up during his tenure. Craig led Friends of the Earth to numerous campaign victories, including on bees, fracking, and against the expansion of Heathrow Airport. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone, I give you Craig Bennett. <laughs> 